hey, how you doing? David Taub here. Hope all's going well, and I hope your guitar and musical journey is going famously. Today I have some triad hacks for you, how you can quickly start to use triads in your soloing, and uh, these have a real melodic quality to them. How do these triads fit into the fretboard architecture, and how can I make them musical, right? That's the key. And in this lesson, I'm using a jam track. Uh, we're in the key of F sharp minor, and the track is in 6-8 time. So important always know the chords. It's the chords that's going to give you the full roadmap to what we could use solo and improvisation wise. And we're in standard A440 tuning. There's basically four types of triads, major, minor, diminished, and augmented. And in this lesson, we're going to be concentrating on minor triads. And all a triad is, is those three notes that make up that minor chord, the, the, the root or the one, the flat third, and the fifth. Now, because we're in the key of F sharp minor, we're going to be looking at some F sharp minor triads, right? So in the key of F sharp, our root is the one is F sharp and then we have uh, the flat third which is A and the fifth which is C sharp so those are the three notes we have to key in and on and if you want to see a lot of these scales and triads that I'm talking about diagrammed out on paper because sometimes it's nice to have it on paper in front of you as you're practicing click on that link in the YouTube description box below I'll send you a killer free uh, soloing ebook it's packed with lessons and scale diagrams. I have like 29 scales diagrams out. I talk a lot about triads, also modal playing, there's soloing strategies, major minor key. It's a great reference uh, ebook and I'll pair it with a video lesson also on some easy ways that you could dress up your soloing, but I'll send them to you for free, both of them, just click below. So the big things with triads is how do I find them quickly and how do I make them musical? So we're gonna find the triads with roots on the uh, high E string, the B string, and the G string. And the great thing about this hack is they're movable. So once you memorize that shape, right, and you know where the root note is, you could find them in any key. It's really, really nice, right? So let's look at the first one with the root on the high E string. So what you wanna do, we're in the key of F sharp minor, right? So we wanna find F sharp minor triads. So find your F sharp note on the high E string, and here it is at the second fret. And the shape is just easy. It's just place your first finger and bar it over the top three strings. There's our triad, right? Then we have our F sharp note, and here is our C sharp note. And here is our A note, F sharp, C sharp, and A. And that triad shape lives right in this F sharp natural minor scale off of the low E string root at the second fret. Again, not only is the triad movable, the scale shape is movable. That scale looks like this. Okay, so one shape you have to remember. All right, and let's learn the next shape is off of the B string. Again, you want to find your F sharp note. Well, that's here at the seventh fret. Right, here's our F sharp, and here is our C sharp, and here is our A. Here's our F sharp triad shape, F sharp minor, I'm sorry, triad shape off of the B string root. Same three notes as this one. All right, so now you know the triad shape off of the high E string and off of the B string. Now let's find the triad off of the G string. And that one we have to find our F sharp note on the G string, which is right there at the 11th fret on our G string. And there's our little triad, a little diagonal shape. So our F sharp 11th fret G, our A 10th fret B string, and our uh, C sharp 9th fret high E. All right, so now you know those three triad shapes. So you want to memorize those shapes and then find them in each key, depending on what jam track uh, you're playing over, what key you're in, right? These are minor, minor triads, root, flat, third, fifth. Then you just find that root note and play that shape. How do we take these triads and start making music with them? So we're jamming over this jam track, right? And you heard me play a lick like this. And then I change the ending second time. That's all based off of that triad, right? When I came up with that lick and I was writing the solo, I was like, okay, I'm gonna have my F sharp note. There's my C sharp note. But instead of grabbing the A here, I grab the A here at the 10th fret on the B string. And I have this lick. You 
because what I did was I grabbed the triad and I pulled that one, this shape, into my F sharp natural minor scale. This F sharp natural minor scale is off of, again, movable, off of the ninth fret on the A string. That shape looks like this. Much like triads, arpeggios, you just can't just play them, just those three notes, just like you just can't play a scale up and back. That's not musical, right? You have to work them. So we have to incorporate them with other scale notes, with our string bending and our concepts for melodic soloing, like leaving lots of space, emotive bends, bend and release, hold bends, drawn out bends, landing notes, right? Dynamics, all things that go into this melodic soloing. So what I did was... I really held that bend going from that G-sharp to the A note. And then I landed on my F-sharp note. So basically I'm adding that ninth, that G-sharp note, to the triad layer. Now a lot of times with melodic soloing you want to repeat your licks. Repetition, right? But change a note at the end especially, or a note in there. Like mix it up a little bit. That time, at the end, when I went back to that, I slid up from my 12th fret on the high E. The 14th fret, guess what? There's my F sharp note again, but an octave higher. So you see, I'm taking the triad, and I'm, I'm incorporating it into a lick, and I'm doing something musical with it. I'm using these concepts. Long string. Natural minor scale. Do repeated bend and releases, but it all started with those three notes of the triad. Let's do another one. So this triad here lives, like I showed you, in that natural minor scale. So uh, you might have heard me play a lick, something like this. All right, again, all based off of the triad, because what I'm doing is I'm raking across the triad by first fingers barred, so I get all three of those. And then I just go right up the scale. And I do this really nice half step melodic bend, bending the ninth to the flat third, bending that G sharp to the A. There's our A note, right? So again, I'm hitting the triad in various spots. So I bend a release, let it down. Then I go right up the triad. High E string, second fret, B string, second fret, G string, second fret. And then I slide it back to get that G sharp, that ninth in there. Vibrato. You could even, if you wanted to resolve it to your F sharp, you could. But the big thing there is I'm hitting the triad at various points, I'm adding a bend and release. Vibrato. Right? All going into this melodic soloing using these triads and if you got a second please subscribe to the channel you know subscribing to the channel that really helps us to keep bringing the content as well as then you'll be notified when we have new music posted also please leave a comment below let us know how you like this lesson let us know what lessons you'd like to see coming up and if you like the video please click the like button give it a thumbs up share it and thank you so much for your support let's take one more example and uh, maybe we'll use the uh natural minor scale here that's off of the uh f sharp note on our A string at the ninth fret. Notice our triad off the G string root, right? Lives right within that scale. So that makes it really nice. Um, so it's also good, like I was showing you before too with this one, that if you could kind of relate to where the triad lives within the scale or near the scale, it's just gonna make it easier for you to make it musical by adding your scale notes, good triad playing, good arpeggio playing, you're mixing your notes and your techniques in with your triad, right? So we have our triad. Okay, remember that's off that G string root. I'm just sliding up. Okay, nice easy lick, lots of vibrato. Or you do it with your bend. Okay, there I did a rake and a sweep right from the arpeggio. 
added the high E string at the 12th fret, that uh, E note, flat 7. So it's kind of like a minor 7 almost there. And then I slide that up to my F sharp note, 14th fret on the high E string. All I'm doing is just kind of working this triad within the scale, looking for some nice, melodical, tasty licks. Here's a cool lick where I'm adding those triad notes in also. All right, it's kind of an Opeth-inspired lick where I'm bending. I'm bending up to my, uh, I'm bending my B note to that C sharp. See, I'm bending to the triad notes. And Another winner because you, when you bend to that root, when you bend to that flat third, you're bending to those strong chord tones, especially if you're playing it over that F sharp minor chord. And then after I bend in my brado, I, I bend it up again. Then I do that hammer and pull off of my C sharp note on that uh, nine and tenth fret on the high E. Go back to my uh, B note, twelfth fret on the B string. And then uh, back to the C sharp ninth fret on the high E string. And a quick bend and release. And then I strike the note when I bring it back down. So I'm bending with a string ring. Uh, again, I'm bending a B up to the C sharp, but I bend it fast. See, you get that whop. And then when I let it back down, I hit it again. And then I go right down, there's my A note in the triad. And I get to that uh, G sharp, that nine. And then I get back to my F sharp root. Right, but I'm thinking triad. Another really important thing to keep in mind is that, you know, it's all about the sounds, okay? It's all about the sounds that sound best to your ears and making, you know, things musical. Hope you enjoyed that lesson. And don't forget, please subscribe to the channel because that really helps us to keep bringing the content. As well as then you'll be notified when we have new lessons posted. And don't forget, click on that link in YouTube description box. Get my largest ever uh, soloing ebook packed with scale diagrams, soloing strategies, major minor key exercises, triads, arpeggios, modal playing. It's an awesome ebook. I pair it with a video lesson. I'll send them both to you for free. Just click on that link below. And if you want to check out some of my original music, I recently dropped a new record with my original band Mind Cell. We're based out of San Diego. It's a slamming record. I think it's some of the best music I've ever written. I'd love for you to hear it. It's streaming on all the platforms. I'll put links to it below. Check it out. And if you have any questions on the songs or maybe on the gear I used or the studio production, drop me a line. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much for checking out this lesson and for your support over the years. Keep up all that hard work on those guitars. Keep having fun with it, right? Remember, your guitar playing is an evolution. So enjoy the journey. Take care, rock on. I'll see you in the next lesson.